Please! Something's in the bathroom. Oh yes, the square has a ghost. This place is haunted, there is something here. You've got to be here, you've got to feel it to know it. Um, and things are happening every day, night or day. We were sitting, chatting, and uh, the doll moved. But the doll was in eyesight with myself and Miss Iris. As I was discussing the doll with Miss Iris, we both looked up at the doll and it started to move. Came through the wine cellar and that doll was actually probably a good, I don't know, 12 to 15 feet away from that carriage. And we were walking through the wine cellar and noticed that the doll had been moved. You know, I always knew there was a ghost. But if you see something right then, you know there was something out there. It actually started to go backwards, recess into the shelf. I mean, it was a wee girl that moved the doll without a shadow of a doubt. The picture that was taken of the old house prior to it being attached to the country squire. Uh, Stephen actually uh, took a picture while we were in the wine cellar the one time, and uh, you can actually see the little girl. In this picture, um, you look in the left-hand window and it's positively like a wee girl peering out. The night I captured her face in an image, in a photograph, was the night any doubt in my mind was removed. With that picture being taken and then seeing this picture that's over in the wine tasting area, it starts to make sense. From seeing that wee face in the baronial hall window puts it together that, yes, that was a wee girl. It was the child alive for the first picture? Who knows? Unannounced, these three darts came flying out the dartboard across the room. Yeah, I really want to know what she's thinking and what she's doing. You know, I, I, that's one of the reasons why I do come here is because I want to see from her point of view as a young child in the afterlife. Came out from the kitchen door into the lobby and saw a wee girl sitting on the steps. I would like to think that I would come back one day. <laughs> um, when it's such a part of you, and a lot of people have been here and love it, and loved it, just like I do. Hello, my name is Iris Lennon, and uh, I'm now the proud owner of the Country Squire Restaurant. Kind of a long story, I hope you've got a lot of time to listen.